The first thing I'm going to do on this part is to do a little bit of housekeeping. I'm going to give these names so I'm going to call this solid rename worm gear return this one I'm right clicking on the name then rename and I'm going to call that one in the loot worm wheel and I'm going to give them some colours to represent what I think they should be made from so with that one selected we'll go with their colour now I'm going to make this one out of stainless steel and I've got some RGB values pinned to my furniture here stainless steel Make more colours and we're going to make our own colours. R is 202, G is 204, and B is 206. 206. Right now we can add that to our list of colours here and I'm going to choose it of course OK now if we click away from that we should see it's stainless steel colour but on top of that I'm going to select over here rendering style metallic finish I'm going to give it a high gloss. There you are, high gloss stainless steel. And this one, one gear, right click, no, sorry, one gear, display. I'm going to make this one out of bronze. And I've got the bronze colour already in my little list here, so I'm going to select that. And there's the bronze. We can also give that a finish as well. High gloss. Uh, yeah, that sounds, looks quite nice. Now you see here we've still got a surface, a tooth form here, which I said at the outset we're going to use to make a a worm wheel with this so we're going to do that now and see what happens see if it's any good so it's in a bit of the wrong place there so it's hover on it and that there it is there so I'm going to just wait a minute now why is it doing that Oh, that's better. Okay, so we'll get that clear. So we'll use that as a form for a worm wheel. So I need to select the surface. We'll use a select tool. And then the three point arc. And the root diameter, the root distance of the the tooth. So this is going to be five point five by five. Escape. So 
select move and we're going to rotate creating patterns Seven, we'll have ten of those. Trim away. And we'll make it the same thickness as the involute. Worm wheel, pull, two, and pull it two on that side as well, make it symmetrical. Let's see how it meshes with. We'll give it a name, rename, and we'll call that one Trap a Sorry, Dell. Now then, this doesn't look to me as though it'll work. I'm going to make another one of these and turn it. I think it's nine degrees, I need to turn it. No, 18. Right. You see, it seems to fit. That fits that quite well, but it's not going to move out properly. When it starts to move out, it'll, it'll foul at this corner. That's why you need an involute. This tooth will have to be a completely different shape to use a plain trapezoidal. The design of, of gearing gears and worms and things like that is extremely complex. And here are a few examples of different ideas for making worm gears. This is probably more like what we need for our worm gear, uh, which is for what the viewer is trying to make on the back end of this lathe. Something like this. Here's another version of it. You can see that's got that's got a trapezoidal waveform. Now this is a clever one, globoid worm gear. Just try thinking about how to make that. And this. As I say, making gears, especially worm gears and bevel gears, is quite complex. This is uh, what we're all familiar with. So I hope you all enjoyed this and uh, that it may be useful to you one day. Uh, please look out for more of my tutorials and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now. Bye.